Hey guys, welcome back to the compound into the third episode of the winter series. So I've done two winter decos on carnivores and I figured it's time to show a little love to a herbivore. And what better one to throw a snowy themed deco on than the Jurassic World Dominion Parasaur. So I picked up this two pack. Uh, not to repaint the little para that comes with it because it's kind of small compared to the adult that's you know shows up in the movie uh, but i bought it specifically to use as reference to put this deco on a bigger parasaur figure and since the dinosaur shows up you know in the movie when it's snowing and kind of winter outside and the deco on this figure uh, is very winter themed it's going to be perfect for a video in this winter series so I'll be approaching this repaint differently than I normally do. I want to keep it very toyetic and simple uh, with just a little extra rule of cool to kick it up a notch. I'll be doing the deco on one of the Mattel para figures. Uh, this one here is just for example. I have a loose Camp Cretaceous one that I painted uh, once already and I'll be using that one to uh, put this deco on. So the box one is just an example since I couldn't find my boxed uh, Camp Cretaceous one. In terms of paint selection, I'll be using Vallejo Game Color paints, and I'll also throw an image of each paint that I'm using up on the screen as I'm laying it down on the figure. I'll also provide Amazon links below to all of the paints that I'm using in case you guys are following along and want to do this repaint yourself. Of course, these colors aren't gospel. You don't have to use this particular brand or, or color mixes that I'm using. Uh, use whatever you have access to and you know just experiment and use what works for your setup. First color I need to match is the base plastic the little one is molded in. For that I'll be mixing charred brown and black together. I'll be thinning these paints down and shooting them through my airbrush for the base to just make it a little bit easier, but this can also be done by hand if you don't have an airbrush. With the base done and dried, I'll bring in the little guy for comparison just to check the match, and I got it pretty close. Uh, it's never going to be perfect, but as long as it's close enough so it'll sell the overall design, uh, that's all that really matters. Next up is the light underside. Now the pattern on the little guy ends just below the neck, uh, but this is where the rule of cool will come in because I want to continue that pattern all down the underside of the larger one. Uh, so for that color, I'll be using Stonewall Gray with a small drop of black to darken it up just a hair. I've got the mix thinned down in a cup and I'll just start blocking in the areas on the underside, which is essentially coloring inside the lines at this point. Uh, but once the neck and the face area are blocked in that'll give me sort of a starting point to build off of and I can start drawing in the stripe patterns. I'll continue those stripes up the sides of the belly and then onto the base of the tail and then slowly transition the stripes into a set of bands just on the tip of the tail just to you know break up that pattern a little bit and uh, just makes it look a little bit cooler. With that done, now I'm going to work on this tan color on the top side. For that, I'll be mixing leather brown and bone white together to make a light tan color. I'll be thinning that down and applying it with my airbrush. Now you can do this by hand if you don't have an airbrush. It just will take a little bit longer. It's more of a challenge because you got to keep your paints real thin. and You got to slowly and gradually build up that tan so it's not chalky or streaky. Uh, but it can be done by hand, but the airbrush definitely does help by making it a lot quicker. With the tan done, now I'm going to move on and start to lay down the blue patterns along the back. I'm starting off first by laying down a base coat with Vallejo Light Blue. Now this is not the color match that I'll be using. That will be in the next coat. This is just a bright base color that will just kind of help give the final color some vibrancy. With that stripe base coat done, now I can go in and lay down the actual color of the stripes. For that, I'll be using Vallejo Game Color Turquoise, and this is the closest color that I could find that matches the stripes on the Juvenile Para without having to mix paint together. If I don't have to mix paint, I won't. Um, and this one right here just kind of is a headache-free way of getting stripes that look pretty similar to the ones that we're trying to copy. So I'll just take the paint, thin it down, and then go over all of the light blue patterns that I laid down previously. Next up are the eyes, and I wanted sort of docile cow eyes, so I'm going to go in first with leather brown and paint the eyes in with that, and then I'll go back in with black, and I'll paint a big black dot just leaving the corner of the brown exposed in the back of the eye, and then I'll finish it off with a white light catch. 
The last paint app to go down will be the splotchy patterns on the hind legs, and I'll be using the same gray color I used for the underside. And I'm using the patterns on the little guy as reference, and I'll just go in and dab the paint on and try my best to create organic looking patterns similar to the one that's on the juvenile. But after all of that, here's the mom and the juvenile para together, and they look super cool. I'm really pleased with the way that they turned out. I also added the same uh, deco on the underside of the juvenile so we can match the mom uh, even better. But now that all that hard work is done, we're gonna take these two and Cowboy Owen, head over to the photo booth and have some fun in the snow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you give this one a shot, remember to tag me over on Instagram at the Jurassic Park Compound because I love seeing the stuff that you guys can come up with. For more Jurassic-related content, you know where to find it. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care, and I'll see you around the compound.